Ukrainian President Volodymyr Zelensky has called on world leaders, in particular, U.S. leader Joe Biden to attend the peace summit to be held in Switzerland in mid-June. The Ukrainian leader said United States' possible absence in the summit would be applauded by Russian President Vladimir Putin. Zelensky made the remarks on an official visit to Belgium on Tuesday where he secured a military aid deal amid intensified Russian attacks. The peace summit needs President Biden and so do the other leaders who look at the reaction of the United States. Putin will only applaud his absence, personally applaud it, and standing, at that, Zelensky said. Stressing that, every voice is important, Zelensky said he was also expecting a reply from China and Brazil. Scheduled for 15 to 16 June near Lucerne, the summit is organized upon Zelensky's request to ensure a just and lasting peace. Over 160 delegations have been invited, including members of the G7, G20, the EU, the Council of Europe and the UN. However, Russia is not among the invited states. Zelensky urged world leaders to attend the summit in a video address in English last week. Please, Show your leadership in advancing the peace, the real peace and not just a pause between the strikes," said Zelensky in his address. The peace summit has been planned for months now. The complete agenda of the summit has not yet been publicized yet. However President Zelensky has said the exchange of political prisoners, the safety of nuclear plants, and the return of abducted children should on the agenda of the summit. An F-35 Lightning II aircraft has crashed near Albuquerque International Sunport, New Mexico. According to KOB4, the pilot would be conscious and breathing and has been taken to the hospital. Though the F-35 is flown by the Air Force, Navy and Marine Corps, the F-35B was a development test aircraft owned by Lockheed Martin, a defense official said. An F-35B en route from Fort Worth, Texas, to Edwards Air Force Base, California, crashed after a refueling stop at Kirtland Air Force Base, New Mexico, Lockheed Martin said in a statement. The pilot safely ejected. Safety is our priority, and we will follow appropriate investigation protocol. Two civilians were also assessed at the scene, but did not require transport to a hospital. Jason Feger, a spokesperson for Albuquerque Fire Rescue, said that multiple agencies responded to the crash. The plane went down near the airfield on the south side of the Sunport, the airport reported on social media. According to Feger, the pilot was able to exit the plane and was hospitalized with serious injuries. The pilot was last reported to be in stable condition at the University of New Mexico Hospital, the Kirtland spokesperson said. Aerial footage from KOB-TV showed local firefighters dousing the wreckage. Fire crews were able to extinguish the blaze, Feger said. The F-35B is a short takeoff and vertical landing aircraft that is used by the Marine Corps. Um, it'll be just a few minutes as soon as we get further information, uh, we'll pass along, but uh, we might be sitting here for a few minutes now. It'll be just a few minutes as soon as we get further information, uh, we'll pass along, but uh, we might be sitting here for a few minutes now. Um, 
It'll be just a few minutes as soon as we get further information uh, we'll pass along, but uh, we might be sitting here for a few minutes now.